Hello, my name is Jeff Scott, and I am the French Horn faculty here at Oberlin College. This is my colleague, John Gruber. John Gruber, introduce yourself. Hello, I'm the Tremont uh, teacher here at Oberlin. And we decided early on in the fall semester that we would put together a joint recital. Um, it's been a while since either of us have played any sort of live music, and so it was a lot of fun just to get together with a real person and play some, some chamber music. Um, and that turned into this full-length recital that we're going to present to you this evening. Uh, John, do you want to talk about your first piece that's going to be on the program? Yeah, absolutely. I'd love to. So I'm going to play a, a, a concerto with, uh, with our pianist, uh, Jim Hausman, uh, who is the chair of our collaborative piano department here and a wonderful, wonderful collaborator. Uh, and uh, the, this uh, Grindal concerto is a really, really great piece. It's one of my favorite pieces for solo trombone. Uh, Lonnie Grindal was a Danish composer. Uh, conductor and a violinist. Uh, and this concerto is almost certainly his best known work. Uh, he wrote it in 1924 for Wilhelm R. Krog, uh, Grandal's colleague in the Casino Theater Orchestra in Copenhagen. Um, it, like I said, this is one of my favorite works for trombone. Uh, it's got three movements and they're all interconnected by this really wonderful dramatic theme that gets introduced at the beginning of the work. Um, it's fairly traditional for 1920. Uh, it, it follows a lot of the conventional sort of um, uh, tropes of romantic concerto writing in terms of form, three movements, fast, slow, fast. It's got a couple of cadenzas in it. Um, but what sets the piece apart is this really intense, wonderful lyricism. Um, I really enjoy playing the music because it's so filled with drama uh, and contrast. There's this great operatic feeling that makes this, uh, this work, I think, stand out a lot from the rest of the solo trombone repertoire. Uh, it also works incredibly well with piano uh, as opposed to the original orchestra accompaniment. Uh, and that's another great reason to do it now while we can are sort of, sort of limited in terms of uh, the kind of collaborations we can do. So I really hope you'll enjoy listening to Lana Gregal's uh, Turbo Concerto, one of my favorite pieces. And, uh, and so I think uh, next, I think Jeff, if you could tell us a little bit about your, uh, your solo material, that'd be wonderful. Absolutely. Um, well, my, my material comes from the fact that we have been in a pandemic. Um, and for that reason, I really wanted my students to be encouraged to focus on solo horn works. Uh, there's a plethora, uh, just a, a you know a bastion of, of glory of glorious music um, in solo horn repertoire that really none of us are too well tapped into. Um, so I started digging online looking for uh, really interesting pieces. The first piece that I'm going to offer is a piece by a, comp a Hungarian composer by the name of Miklos Kostar. Um, he was a a student of Ferenc Farkas, and um, he wrote a series of solo pieces um, for various instruments, viola and French horn, seemingly to be his favorite instruments, his instruments of choice. Um, so he's got a number of pieces for horn. This one, entitled Echoes, um, does this great sort of, um, sort of treatise a little bit on all the different ways you can show an echo through a solo instrument. Um, it, it uses a lot of extended technique, and that is part of the reason why I was uh, gravitated to this, this piece. Um, in our studio here at uh, Oberlin, I've been encouraging my students to look for music that explores different sounds, different ways to play the instrument, or different styles of music. So this piece, Echoes, is uh, uh, a great way for us to dig into different techniques, different sounds on the instrument. And then the next two pieces, which will be two etudes, um, and you're probably thinking, why would you schedule a program of etudes on a program? Well, um, again, we're in this pandemic, and I thought, you know, let's do something interesting, fun with the solo horn. And so I actually have started a commissioning project where I've commissioned a series of composers to write up to three minute long solo etudes for French horn based on different either techniques or styles of music. Um, we already have five brand new etudes that are in our catalog right now. And I'm going to present um, on this program two of them. One was written by a composer by the name of Rodrigo Usaj. He, he is a Brazilian composer. And he calls his etude, uh, etude for vocalized French horn. And I'm actually playing a bunch of uh, multiphonics. And to be really honest, um, I knew nothing about multiphonics before I started playing this piece. I knew a little bit, but I had to learn the technique, and the studio had to learn the technique. 
So it's been really great to, to, to uh, dive into that technique. And the last uh, of these three solo pieces is an etude by a composer by the name of Robert Sussman, who was actually a friend of mine in New York City, jazz trombonist, and he wrote a piece called The Living Is Easy, and it's a jazz style etude, which really, uh, I think, was a great addition for our students so that they can get comfortable in that style of composition. And that will be my yeah. contribution. Yeah. And I, I think the genesis for this whole project in the first place was uh, you and I wanted a, a chance to play together a little bit. We were both itching to play uh, play with, with, with someone else. And so we uh, also recorded uh, this a little series of five duets by a, an American composer named uh, Vaclav Nelly Bell. Uh, and I know it, his name is a mouthful, but he is an American composer. Uh, and uh, he was active in the middle of the 20th century. Most famous probably for his, uh, actually for his school band music. He wrote a lot of wonderful music for young bands uh, in particular. And he was involved in the, in the 1950s and 60s with the federal government project that actually put uh, compose, American composers into public schools uh, and actually had them out working in public schools writing music for school bands. So he's one of many composers who was involved in, in the middle of the 20th century who was involved in that kind of work. Uh, this was this piece wasn't a result of that. Uh, it's just a, a, a nice little uh, grouping of, of duets that he wrote for horn and trombone. And of course, you're a hornist, I'm a trombonist, and we wanted something we could play together written for our instruments. And it was a just a, a nice, convenient choice uh, by and by a composer who is uh, really interesting, and I think a composer who's familiar, especially to people who might might have played his work in in, in school in a, in a band program or something. He also wrote a really wonderful piece for trombone choir called Tower Music that every trombonist knows. Uh, it's very loud and very in your face and, and, and uh, a lot of fun to play. Well, I had a great time collaborating with you on this, on this whole re recital and on the piece itself. Again, for me, it was the first time playing with someone in almost a year. So, it was a yeah. so thank you for inviting me into this project. And uh, I hope you all enjoy uh, the result of this recital. Yeah, we hope you hope you enjoyed everyone. And uh, like I said, so much fun. It was a lot of fun. Hopefully we'll get to do it again here uh, in, a, in a live format uh, in, in the future. All right. Thanks a lot. I hope you enjoy the program, everybody.